Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, David and I conquer Peak District. Yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys, a little backstory. We are at Peak District, and David saved my butt already, and we're only 10 minutes into this journey. Uh, we got to the car park, and all the machines are coin only. So if you come to Peak District and you're gonna go to the car parks, expect to use coins. Um, just used to contactless payment everywhere. So David had some money, and we went to the gift shop. The gift shop's only doing like four pounds or so. Uh, so he ran up to the post office, got us some change, and now we're just getting stuff in the bags, ready to go. The loop that we're doing uh, starts right on the other side of this car park here. It's an eight mile loop or, what is it, nine? I guess? Like yeah. eight and a half to nine, so we'll see how it goes. We'll go with nine. Yeah. Make everybody think we're awesome. <laughs> I'm doing the full National Geographic setup, so I got the big camera I'm actually gonna take on this hike, and then the GoPro. We'll get you some good time lapses. We got our phones and David's got his GoPro too, so. Ready for action. Yeah, so we're gonna finish loading up, leave the car here, hopefully it's here when we return. And then uh, later we'll take you over to the campsite and let you know where we're gonna be staying for tonight. Okay, so a little bit more context. We're lost. <laughs> <laughs> Already missed our first turn. We're in the town of Castleton and I'll pull up a big map, I'll kind of pinpoint, this is Castleton. And this is where the hike is gonna start, but we're gonna uh, actually camp a little bit more north. So we're following some old directions in the gift shop. David got a map. And it looks like there's several different loops you can do. We're just gonna try and pick the one that does like anywhere between eight and nine miles and uh, hits all the main points, I think, along the ridge line. So this town is really cool. Just a bunch of pubs, little shops. And uh, we gotta snake through some of this to get to the main um, what do you call it? Like just the main track, I guess. Directions are like turn left on a small road, but no street names. So we're like, I think, I think this works. Yeah. <laughs> Is this where we turned? I'm like I think so. I don't know, but we got great views ahead. So we got to be in the right place. The George. I've already seen like six pubs. I just want to stop at already. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Sun poking through. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Sorry, you just look very majestic with the sun behind you. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we went this way, um, it looks kind of like there's a loop here. So what I'm wondering is we're kind of up here in the Winots, <laughs> and we need to maybe hightail it up there to get on the big loop. Sounds but good. we could see see the roads that way. Let's head up that way just a little bit. See if the cavern's up there, and if it is, then we'll... We'll cut in? We'll cut in, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah, so as I try not to trip over boulders here, this is our before shot. We got some good footage of us, and uh, I think when we finish, and David accidentally takes us on a 15-mile trek, and we're crawling, or getting an Uber back to our ride, we'll do the after shot. All right, so we are gonna go up on this trail here. So we'll do like a quick little jump, um, you know, pretty straight, a little little wet and a little narrow path there, but that is like straight vertical. So we'll catch up with you guys when we get on that side of the road. <laughs> We're working with old directions we found on Google and then the map, there's just so many loops that you can go around. So you can go an inner circle, an outer circle, both. So here's the part right now that we're at, it says, and like we said, we're gonna try and go uphill. It says, cross the car park in front of the cavern entrance and go through a gate and follow the path uphill to a farm. Okay, there's lots of farms here. Turning right at the signpost, follow the wall and go through a gate at the corner of the field. Okay. Then straight across to the next field, cross the road and go through a gate, then across the field to another road, through the gate opposite and up the hill, go through another gate and up the steps to the road. <laughs> Sure. Simple enough. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Nice. So you want to go? Which way you want to go? This looks goes through. Huh? 
Like that way it looks like it goes through. We want to go up, right? We want to go up. Let's go up. I don't want to go up, but we got to go up. <laughs> I don't want to go up, but I want to go up. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's go up. Okay. Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's just like action music. We make it <laughs> 50 yards and then <laughs> Just slow motion. This is going to be a 45 minute climb. <laughs> Day three of our long perilous journey. I haven't eaten anything yet, but I've had to stop Kyle a few times from <laughs> getting into the snacks. Oh yeah, organic sheep poop anywhere. We've had to resort to digested grass. We solidify it with the, the warmth of our body heat. <laughs> I'm just trying not to suck too much wind to get a shot of the overhang. All right, so we are halfway up this hill here and uh, it is kicking my butt. Most of the trails look like they're pretty steady inclined. This one was just like straight vertical. David's checking out this big tree here. It's a beautiful tree. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> just overlooking a uh, steep drop. Still a really pretty view. So we made it up this one. We got the road down behind us there that winds through. And then there's the town of Castleton behind us. So David's getting his GoPro out. He's going to get some cool shots. <laughs> and then we're going to keep going up this hill. Yay, more hill. Okay, kind of all over the place, but I think we got it figured out. David if, had uh, a bright idea. If you're watching this video and I didn't put it on my channel, <laughs> that means that we didn't make it up the mountain. Okay, so we're going to come down this ridge, go up, and you can kind of see tiny little people walking up the side. And then we're going to walk the spine of the mountain go all the way down and then there's the ridge line trail that goes through and then if you want to come up I'll show you guys a better shot of Castleton again. A row of pose here. This is my my kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna try and walk the spine and then come back down to the town and that's our car park down there. It's so hard to show the scale of how big this mountain is, but it looks like the trail kind of goes up a nice steady pace. So this is, uh, this is the adventure. This is why we came out here. Came out here to slay dragons, scale mountains, and exactly. get David on a uh, kite where he can kite surf. <laughs> <laughs> Just disappear into the clouds. I also think it was super smart to pack a bag full of camera gear and take a big camera up a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> got the battery pack, that weighs about 10 pounds. <laughs> got Just my steel couple. toed boots in case I need to kick something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I got, I got everything in my bag. But uh, we'll get up a bit, and then I think we're gonna pause for lunch at the top. So, I'm here gonna... we go. go. The orcs of Mordor. <laughs> <laughs> get some random facts for us. Wow. So many don't know this, but uh, George Washington used to frequent this hill for his morning exercise. That's why he became so manly. <laughs> Chopping down those cherry trees. So this is just like a little tease of the, we still gotta go around the corner and then quite a bit up. But still, stunning view. We did it! We're at the top. We're alive. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, no. but we're gonna we're gonna get some shots, take a peek, and uh, maybe grab a bite to eat here in a second. It actually wasn't as hard as I thought. It looks very daunting from the side, but the steps all the way up made it really easy. You did great. Awesome. Let's get some pictures. Mission accomplished. All right, we stopped for some lunch. Ah. David's got the world's best, best beef jerky. Turkey jerky. 
Just gotta get some protein again, but just enjoying the view. Check this out. That is a steep drop. Lead the way, good sir. Later. Let's go. <laughs> Masterfully conquering every stone step. One, two, three. This is the best way to break your neck is to try and film while you're going down. It's kind of like an incline, but I really like these stone steps or whatever you are. Just call it like a path. Yeah. And it just kind of runs the ridge line now. We're hitting high winds, which is why I brought the big camera. Hopefully, uh, we're coming in a little clearer. You guys can hear us. It's also hard to see how uh, how dark it is. It keeps going like cloud cover, and then the sunshine, for like cloud a hot cover. Second, and then yeah, back to death and doom and despair. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm cutting you off. Here we go. There's a lot of people on the trail. David and I were just saying we thought it was going to be pretty open, and uh, it's popular. I think people are. Whew. No such thing as COVID here. We have eradicated yeah. it. Well, they're just trying to get in their last hike. <laughs> yeah. They're like, all right, we're going to do this walk. We're going to go home. We're going to board up our doors and uh, won't be out again until sometime next year. <laughs> exactly. Uh, no more fun. Coming up on another pass, but this is like the spine that's just going to run right along the ridge line here. It's a cool little trail. We're seeing lots of dogs. Wolf. I think Sonny and Hootie could do it, but uh, I don't know about the smaller ones. This is an optimal thing for smaller dogs, such as chihuahuas or <laughs> hamsters. Oh, yes. Yeah, the tinier the legs, the better. Baby you know, chickens. Good. Oh, man. All right, we're going to focus on this trail. Happy you came out. Absolutely. Just everything your heart desired and more. Well, you know, a bag of Cheetos would be cool too. <laughs> we might find or, some. I've seen some trash. Or, or like a, oh, like a Chipotle burrito. Oh. Wow, that that sounds great. Double wrap, oh. double meat, double rice. I don't need double beans. I didn't even know you could double wrap them. Oh, it's amazing. I, we should go in London. Next video. Chipotle. Chipotle. <laughs> All right, so David and I uh, just took a break here. We got some drone footage. Drone footage. It's too beautiful to pass up, so we pulled off to the side and uh, let's got roll that drone got footage. Got some shots. Yeah. Buzz. Check it out.
good. Yeah, make a good pace. So this is Black Tour right now, right behind us. It's beautiful. We're gonna climb up this one. Then we got one more. I forgot what the last one is on the map. There's and then we head back down to Castleton. So making good time. We gotta get up this one and the next one pretty quick because uh, we gotta get back to camp by six or we're not gonna have a fire pit. <laughs> that could be a little <laughs> bit, a little bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, it's so. good. Winter is coming. Yeah. To say the least. Tonight. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> I definitely think the uh, bonehead move for me so far on this trip was leaving my boots, my hiking boots, uh, right by the front door. So yeah. they, don't, <laughs> they don't do so well in Peak District when they're not on your feet. But so far our tennis shoes are working. Glad I didn't wear sandals today for the drive up. Uh, but just thankful for the sunshine. Here it comes again poking through the clouds. Yesterday was like raining and disgusting and today decent. Just a little chilly. <laughs> So we came all the way out to Peak District and we are on our last peak. Our last peak. What's this one called? Can you give us a review? Loose Hill uh, what? Pike. Loose Hill Pike. Loose Hill Pike is the one right in front of us. We just did Black Back Tour. Back Tour. And the first one was Mam Tour. Mam Tour. Yeah. Black Tour. Yeah. And now Loose Pike. We passed Holland's Cross. We went through the depths of Mam Farm <laughs> and Wood Seats Farm and what else? Odin Mine. Wow. Oh, Blue yeah. John Cavern. Wow. We have just had a jam-packed day <laughs> full of quests and legendary rings found. And still no more dragons. Still no more dragons. We haven't found Chelsea. Yeah. We're on a quest to save her and Porter. <laughs> we can't find them anywhere. They're probably back at home. They made it safely. All right, here goes our last one. That is it guys, so we finished the last of the peaks. It was a lot of fun. We definitely took our time. I think you could sprint through it a lot faster, but we are now gonna start our descent down back into uh, Castle. Castleton. Ten, yeah. That Get to our car and then go set up camp. So, yeah. Drink some food. <laughs> yeah, drink some food. <laughs> we're, we're just a little bit tired, but. Blender. Ready for some good food and uh, camp bar warm up a little bit. But we'll head down, we'll catch you guys on the bottom of the hill. Good journey. <laughs> that was close. Always the thing you're looking forward to. Except my biceps. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we're on David's uh, river cruise <laughs> adventure. <laughs> we found like an old river bed that uh, getting a straight shot to the town. I just wanted to get Kyle's socks wet. <laughs> Again, loving the uh, tennis shoes over hiking boots. Good choice there. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. He's like, I need some scratches. This is so cushy. Hey, you little guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, right there. That's the spot. Hey, dude. Incredible. Good eye. I didn't even see him. He's so soft. No, he came running up here. He's like, hey, my back itches. Can you scratch it? You sound like the one friendly sheep. The one friendly, <laughs> I know.
That is... <laughs> You'd make a good pillow. <laughs> that is so soft. Wow, incredible. Is your life fulfilled now? I don't know. Well, careful where he's chomping there. <laughs> That's not cheese. <laughs> Majestic, you little cutie. Not as good as a dog, but... David did it. He got us back. We're almost on the main road again where he had to stop in the beginning of this video to get change at the post office. Yes. So we're going to get back to the car and then um, just kind of throw our gear back in and head back up to camp. Eat some food. Yeah. Drink some food. Drink so, some food. Yes. Eat some drink. Yeah. Oh, look at that car. Ooh. Fancy. All right. We'll see you guys. So are you feeling accomplished? Feel accomplished. Feel satisfied. <laughs> That was, a, that was a heck of a trail. Uh, it was really yeah. pretty. The weather held out. It was windy, but we didn't get rained on, really. Yep. It was a great day. Great day for getting outside. Yes. Those days are slimming down as we <laughs> approach winter. Yeah. There's Drink the car. some food. I see the car. We made it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> I've never been so happy. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to the campsite. We are at New Fold Farms. And uh, the way they've got it here is they've got three different uh, fields that you can pitch a tent up. We got ours right behind me here. I'll take you on a tour. <laughs> Dave on this side, just a little bit of celebratory hydration. Uh, yeah, hydration. We'll go with that. <laughs> um, but we got the car pretty much empty. The tent up, as you can see, and our table. We have got brats on the menu today. So we're going to do some uh, cook with their camping stove they got. And then I think tomorrow we're going to do some eggs and bacon and just soak up this mountain view behind us like look at this so pretty all right so uh let me give you a little tour of the camp over here <laughs> so this is the first field you got a second field there and then another one just out the way when you sign up for a camp spot here you can get a um, fire pit and then it has a grill top on there so this is what we're going to use to cook our brats tonight and then over here we've got our folding table with our food and cooking supplies much needed Yeti. Need that at every campsite. Keeps the white claws nice and nice and chilled. And then uh, this is the tent. So we did our video. I was telling David six months ago is when we did the video where we put this up in our front yard. And uh, I was like, I can't believe it was that long ago. But we've been dreaming to bring it out here and to have our camp set up. So it actually like what took 20 minutes or so. Much Super faster. Um, nothing too fancy in here, but we got the cot set up again, and then sleeping bag and. That's going to be it. So the temps tonight, I think, are going to drop down in like the 40s. Uh, so it's going to be a little chilly. But, um, you know, if we need to share body warmth, we're... Uh, <laughs> we're yeah. No, uh, nice we've got some pretty, temperature. Uh, pretty good um, sleeping bags. So I'm just excited to just put my feet up, relax. It was a heck of a hike today, but a lot of fun. David got all the good snacks, like the healthy stuff, and I just brought burritos. <laughs> <laughs> got some junk Probably in there right. too. Oh, and the facility at the uh, front end will point out um, down there they've got a shower and a bathroom. So it's nice to have toilets, running water, and a shower. We can get cleaned up in the morning and tonight. So we're going to cook dinner first and then because uh, we're going to get all smoky from the fire and then go rinse off and uh, climb, into, climb into bed. So this wow. is camp. We don't have an official name for it yet. We got to come up with uh, something cool, but maybe later, after a couple more of these, we'll have something creative for you guys. So, mm. Freelander. Yeah. Freelanders. Freelanders. Cove. It's a work in progress. <laughs> we're working through that. <laughs> I just see Freelander over there. So, <laughs> Roger. Awesome. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. We uh, had kind of a chilly night. <laughs> We're warm now. We're thawed out. <laughs> got down to the 40s, but thank goodness this campground's got a cafe, so mm. we're able to get some hot coffee and coffee. warm up. We did have a good breakfast, though. It was fun just doing some uh, camp cooking. Um, firewood also was uh, a little damp, yeah. so that was an adventure trying to trying to get that thing going last night. <laughs> but we're just, in, started. <laughs> <laughs> just enjoying the view uh, before we head out. We got all packed up, and uh, we got about a three-hour drive to get back to the house, so... Thank you, David, for this adventure. Thank you, Kyle, a lot for, of fun. for the swag. Yeah. <laughs>
Peak District in a day. I mean, uh, I think we did it and saw a lot. So yeah. happy with the trip, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. That way, or that way, <laughs> or that way. It's, it's all over. And get out on an adventure, because it's Definitely. fun. Definitely, go do something. Don't let the cold and rain scare you. All awesome. Right. See you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.